Uh, hello, everyone. Um, we are here at the North Brookfield Haston Public Library, and we are going to give you the opportunity to meet one of our artists in town, um, Ellen Smith. She is a photographer, and she has agreed to be with us as we begin our series on our YouTube channel for the Friends of the Townhouse. We have a new YouTube channel and we wanna be sure that everyone has the opportunity to meet and, and greet all of these great people in town. So Ellen, tell us a little bit about yourself first, who you are and where you live and um, why you were drawn drawn to photography? Well, I've lived in North Brookfield since 1973. I had a 35 year career as a junior high teacher, taught social studies and introductory Spanish in Spencer. Um, as far as photography goes, um, I, I think my interest began uh, when I was a small child. Um, we lived in a three room apartment in the Bronx and my dad had bought an Argus 35 millimeter camera, which I guess was the kind of the entry level um, hobbyist 35 millimeter uh, product that came on the market. I remember that quite clearly, had a, a leather case that it was just ever present. Um, he also had a dark room set up. So he would take over the bathroom in this little apartment and I was his helper. And I just remember the, the magic of seeing the image in the developing tray that it was just to a seven-year-old so exciting to watch that process. So um, there really wasn't a time in my life that I remember when I didn't find photography captivating now, is there anything in particular about the work that you've done or a certain medium that you wanted to work with? Are you interested in um, flowers, for example? Or could you tell us a little bit of how you choose the, the, mm -hmm. um, the subject of your photography? I don't see myself as kind of the artist photographer, or creative photographer, as much as more of a I'm documenting, I'm documenting. documenting yeah. um, because with a lot of things you think if I don't take a picture of this it'll be a memory sure but it'd be nice to have the image to go with that now when I, I do know some of your pictures because I happen to go to a Massasoit art show and um, I know that you're involved with the Massasoit Art Guild is that right yeah, I think it's been about 10 years uh, since they um, started a photo group within the Massasoit Art Guild. And a good friend of mine and I joined about 10 years ago. And it's, it's been very worthwhile to interact with people who have similar interests. Um, sometimes we, we have monthly meetings and sometimes there's a theme. Uh, last month was black and white photos. Um, and we, uh, critique, if you will, um, the photos. And sometimes there are backstories that uh, are as fascinating as the images. Um, so it's, it's certainly been a good experience. And the annual show uh, in October each year um, makes it possible for artists of you know, a variety of, of categories and a couple of, of photography categories, traditional photography, which would be anything that you could have done um, under the old film camera and darkroom uh, environment um, and then a category for digitally enhanced photography um, where you go beyond what the darkroom would have would have allowed um, and uh, so it's it's fun to go there because not everybody who's in the uh, photo group comes to meetings so you get to see other other people's work as well Um, maybe you can talk about each one just a bit right now. And I know you've got three that you brought with you today. Mm -hmm. 
that are your favorites or or among among, among, my favorites. among, among, among your favorites and your souvenirs. <laughs> okay. uh, this this first one um, I recommend to everyone who has the chance to go. Um, if you haven't gone to the Smith College Spring Bulb Show, um, unfortunately this year it's a very limited um, admission and all the slots are taken. So I'll have to wait till next year. It is it is available online, I believe. Um, they have a uh, two week long uh, spring exposition at their conservatory and it's just, speaking of magical, um, it's like the scene in, in The Wizard of Oz when the film goes from black and white, she opens the door and the world is in color. It's just like that. It's wonderful. So this first photo is one that I took at, um, at one of those shows. Um, it's just a visual delight for everybody, a photographer's delight, um, and I recommend that everybody who has a chance to, this year, uh, just check it out online, if nothing else, um, you, you'll be hooked. And? and on to, I think this is the photo that Eva is referring to. Um, we had an experience a couple of years ago of, uh, I'll say rescuing, sounds very heroic, a, a nestling, looked like a tiny little dinosaur thing. And um, with help from the neighbors and friends, um, we nursed it along for not that long, maybe 10 days at the outset, or at, at, at the maximum. Um, it's amazing, because I'd never watched this process before, how quickly a baby bird develops. We had to be very careful because you don't want to imprint a baby bird and then ruin its life. So we were very careful about that. And after this picture uh, was taken about, just about at the time when we put, we say him, him or her, back in a, this makeshift nest. And I have a terrible photo, but it documents it when this is a cardinal, this baby bird, when the father cardinal came back and fed, we called him Lewis, fed little Lewis. And <laughs> it, was, it was a tremendous relief because I thought, Lewis is going to be okay. So, and this is, this is, that's, he was. That, that is the, uh, the picture that I actually bought because I wanted it so much. It was just a very, um, it spoke to you. It did. It did. It <laughs> spoke to me. So, and you also had one, uh, another photo that was a prize winner. Uh, but yeah, this one, this one was. Uh, this is a photo of uh, one of the mushrooms that um, my son grew last summer in the basement of our barn. Um, he just walked by me one day with a clump, this clump in his hand, and I said, wait a minute, picked up my phone. He said, gee, that really is interesting looking. Just snapped the snapshot with the phone. Didn't think too much of it. But when I looked at it later, I thought, boy, there's a lot of interest in that. And so I worked on it in Photoshop. I don't use a lot of elements of Photoshop, but I learned how to do this. Removed the background and replaced it with this solid black background and thought, that looks pretty good. So this one, when I entered it into the show, I entered the digitally enhanced category. Uh, that was my first, I think my first foray into that category. And was very pleased to come away with, with an award for that one. So those, are, those three are among uh, some of my favorites. I have a lot of other favorites too, but. Well, Ellen, it was just such a pleasure to, to talk to you and to hear the stories of how, how I, has touched your life through the camera. And you really have produced some wonderful things for us. So there's a sharing that can go on. And this is what we hope will happen for our audience as they begin to see your photos and we begin our search with virtual programming into other artists in the area. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank you for just agreeing to be someone that we could talk to and uh, interview. Well, thanks very much, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing 
other artists and artisans in the area. I'm familiar with some, but I'm, I'm going to be learning too. I think we're all going to be learning at the same time. So thanks a lot for doing this this evening. My and pleasure. thank you all for listening to us.